to Macaw, wound up stuck in a tree, and it took a full day's effort to get it all down. The steam still active in West Law. KITV Force Paul Drew joining us live now. And Paul, let me get this straight. At one point, they tried to lure it down with pizza. I know it sounds like a bird brain story. And it was, but it does have a happy ending. Now, I'm here at the water's edge in Westlock, and this is where that pet parrot spent most of the past 24 hours perched at the top of that very tall tree after escaping yesterday morning. The macaw is named Barbie Blue, and after flying the coop from her home in nearby Westlock Estates, she settled here. Blue wouldn't come down, not for bird seed, not for pizza, or even for her companion that was brought to the base of the tree. Parrots might be tame and pets, but they can still get away from their owners if they're not careful. The reality is, if they're not clipped, at some point they're going to fly off. There might be a noise that will frighten them, there might be a dog barking that will frighten them, and typically we carry our parrots around on our shoulder. So maybe someone is walking outside, they have the parrot on the shoulder, a dog barks, or something frightens them, spooks them, bang, they're off. Blue was stuck so high in the tree that regular ladders couldn't reach her, and the fire department was called in to help. But they couldn't get their ladder truck down here to this park right by the water. So why all the fuss over a bird in a tree? Well, Fisher tells me that tame birds get confused when they're out in the wild, and instead of going back to the cage or people that they know, they instinctively head to the highest point and may stay there for days. But. After more than a day on the loose, Blue flew away to a nearby neighborhood and was safely caught, put back in her cage. And here's the good news. She was taken to the vet. She's on her way right now to get her wings clipped so this won't happen again. Reporting live from Westlock, Paul Drews, KITV4 News.